Hey, what's going on, miners? Today, we're going to be talking about Ursula. So let's get right into it. All right. So this is a brand new coin on mining pool stats that I'm going to be showing you how to mine. It's pretty basic and simple, but for some of you guys who are just now getting into GPU mining, maybe you guys need to maybe a step-by-step -step guide on, you know, how do I mine these new coins? Where do I find them? You know, things like that. So that's kind of what we're going to be covering in today's video. Um, so let's, yeah, let's go ahead and let's dive right into this. All right, so we're going to go to our favorite place, Mining Pool Stats. All right, and then we're going to look up, we're going to go to the new coin section. It should still be in here. Now, Mining Pool Stats is a great place to learn about new coins, but sometimes you may want to find out about coins from like Bitcoin Talk, which is an old school forum where people, they still post and it's still one of the old school ways to find some of these new coins, right? But you kind of have to sift through all the forum talk, which can be like a job in itself, right? So new coins do post up here and you can check them out. And they're all, they're, there's all different types of stuff. There's Bugna, there's, you know, uh, Husat, you know, Cubics, uh, Nautilus, like all these coins that are just now getting their start. You can find them. You can mine them, do whatever you want with them, right? So the coin that we're going to be checking out is going to be Ursula. So we're just going to look up, see, Ursula. And it is another, it is a heavy hash algorithm. So it's a Caspa fork. So um, let's go ahead and how, if we were going to mine this, how would we start? What would be the first step? Well, step number one is, is we need a wallet, right? So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to come down here to their releases. So if you click here, it's going to take you to their GitHub page. So typically most new coins don't really have nice wallets. Most of the time you have to come here to GitHub and actually download their core wallets, right? I recommend doing this on a separate computer or a VM, something completely segmented off your main network because there is times where there is rug pulls, there's viruses, malware, there's instances of uh, these wallets actually taking other coins that aren't even associated with this. So they're all can be very sketchy, very dangerous. So please keep it on a computer that that is even that is not on the same network as your entire house either that use vlan and firewall rules to protect yourself whatever you feel is most secure to you i suggest you do that everybody has their own different level of security that they like to implement um, i use vlans firewall rules and vms to protect myself so we're going to come over here to the releases and then you would need to download one of these releases so I have I have already done this in a VM. I use Proxmox. It's a free hypervisor that you can use. You don't have to put it on a server. You could put it on a desktop computer, a mini computer, an old Optiplex. You could put Proxmox on so many things, right? So it's it's free too. It won't cost you anything. So this is on Xubuntu, which is a Linux lightweight distro, and I use Pasty. So um, what we're going to do now is, is once you download it, you're just going to need to extract it, which I did here on the desktop. Let me close out all these windows here. So you can see I have the Ursa Core wallet, right? And I download and I extracted the Ursula stuff here on the desktop. You can see the QT. So it's pretty much just an install. There's really no walking through this. You download it, you install it. It's just like any other Windows program. There's no secret to it. Um, you set a password, you write down your seed phrase and all of those things. Now, one thing I do do is I do use Pasty, which I'll be having a video come out this week to show you guys how to paste inside of this VM here and get it back out to yourself safely without having to write everything down on a piece of paper. So now that we have our uh, our Ursula wallet, right, we're going to come back to my pasty here. And you can see I've already made content because I have, hey, YouTube, what's going on? Right. So what I need to do now is come back to my core wallet 
go to my receive section and now I need to actually say, hey, I wanna request a payment. And then I'm gonna click copy address. Now this is gonna copy my Ursula address, right? So let's go ahead and go back to my pasty. I'm gonna make a new paste. There we go, we'll put Ursula wallet uh, address. There we go. And now I have it pasted, okay? Now I could come back to my regular computer here, come back to my pasty, see the paste. So now I have the wallet address here. So now I'm going to be coming into my Hive OS. Uh, Hive OS is a mining operating system that us GPU miners use um, to get going. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I have the Ubiquity blocking sponsored Google crap, so it won't let me click on it. So we're going to hit sign in. All right, so we're over here at my Hive OS, and you can see on my OB1, these are on my 4090s out in my garage. They're mining next right now. Let's So let's go ahead and let's set up another wallet. So we're gonna add wallet, the coin ticker. Oh, they even have Ursula in here, no way. Pretty new coin, that's kinda cool. So now that we have that, let's come back to our pasty. Let's click on the wallet address. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna bring it back over here and then we're going to paste it in. Then we're going to give it a name. I'll just put like Ursula, you know, you know, VM wallet. Just to kind of remind myself, you know, where the wallet is and you know, what I did with it, right? Is it like on my ledger? Where is it? It's in a VM. So obviously it's on one of my servers here at my house. Okay, cool, we have a wallet made. Okay, now we need to actually make a flight sheet. Okay, so now we're gonna come back here. We're gonna type in URS, this way we get our coin ticker, and then it's gonna let us pick our wallet, which we're using the wallet we just made. And then let's see if it has pools. It actually has a pool for us, so that's really cool. It has a mining for the people. And now what we're able to do is, is now we can say, well, where do we wanna mine? Well, depending upon your location in the world, you're gonna to wanna to make some of these choices, right? So I think I'm going to mine on the... So we're gonna use a low difficulty. Usually high difficulty is for like mining rig rentals and other things like that, so, or like an ASIC. So we're just going to be using a low difficulty. And don't worry about the difficulty because it'll adjust itself. It, the, usually the difficulty has a starting point and then it will it, it'll just you know vary. It'll just increase or decrease the difficulty based on what you have. But you don't want to set it too high. So we have kind of a limited selection of miners here. I am I'm familiar with a little bit of SRB and Wild Rig. I don't really know uh, Crypto Dredge that well or CC Miner. So we're just gonna need to pick either SRB or Wild Rig. So we're gonna go with Wild Rig here and we're going to set some parameters, right, for our Ursula. And it's been a long time since I've done any kind of heavy hash mining. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm probably gonna get yelled at in the chat here. All right, let's see if I can get this right. It's been a long time since I used Wild Rig. So we're gonna use a GPU core lock of 1470, a core offset of 250, and a GPU memory clock lock of 810. Now, heavy, K heavy hash should be a core intensive algorithm, not a memory intensive algorithm. So we really shouldn't need to use our memory at all in this situation, which will save us some power. So we hit apply changes, we're gonna hit create flight sheet. Right, we've created our flight sheet now. Now we're gonna come back to our workers. Now, before I usually implement a new flight sheet in maybe because I run into some issues, maybe a bad overclock or something like that, right? What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna hive shell into the rig itself. This way I can watch the change actively as I actually do the change instead of maybe the rig crashes and I don't notice, right? Because um, I can't see anything just based on this window right here. So once you're hive shelled in, I always do an MOTD watch. And now we're actively watching the miner. Now we're going to come back to our hive. And then we're going to enable Ursula right here. 
We're going to go back to our Hive Shell window, and now we're going to have to watch the screen here. The miner's going to close down. It'll then switch over to Wild Rig, which if you don't have Wild Rig, which I don't think I have Wild Rig on this particular rig right here, it will download Wild Rig to, to your rig, and then it will start mining. So obviously I didn't have it, so the downloading this, right? Because I don't think I've ever used Wild Rig on this particular rig. Here we are. We are now mining Ursula at mining pool or miningforpeople.com. Interesting pool name. And we're using about 180 watts per card. So combined two or 360 watts per GPU. We're getting roughly about 2.5 giggle hashes right here and I'd have no idea if that's good or bad um you you let me know in the comments down below these are my core my I have a GPU core clock of 1470 a core offset of 250 and a memory clock of 810 let me know what you guys are using for heavy hash if these are something similar you're using or maybe you got something better than I do now let's see if this is actually registering at the pool level right now, some pools do take like 15 minutes to actually pick up on, you know, what you're actually doing, right? So we just started here. We only have um, a very small amount of hash rate here. So we're mining for the people. Now, that is going to be how you mine Ursula. And that's pretty much how you mine most other coins. I'll do some more how-to videos of the coins that I am actually mining right now. So... Yes, I'm, I am mining Ursula as we speak. I'm going to build a bag of it over the course of the next week or two to see, you know, I'm going to gauge how well, you know, how many, how many coins I get, what am I mining, and, and, you know, stuff like that. So me personally, in my GPU mining endeavor, I'm looking for coins with low hash rate to give me the most yield so that way I can get a bag, right? I'm not looking for daily profits, so if that's something you're looking for, this is definitely not the strategy that you want to be doing. All right, guys, let me you guys think about the video. Are you guys mining Ursula or, or do you guys have some better overclocks for me with Wild Rig on Heavy Hash? Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys are doing right now. We're getting ready for the bull run. Things are about to be crazy over the next year. What are you guys doing to get ready? All right, this is the money can giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.